vaccinations each year and just kind of general checkup. Um, but there are other expenses as for like, you know, emergency vet calls. So your horse injured themselves or is colicking. Um, and then we have to have an unscheduled appointment with the vet. Okay, so an average appointment, not including any of the services or the extra medicine or procedures would be around what? Um, it really varies, but I would say probably maybe at least a hundred dollars. Okay. And the vet comes to the barn? Yes. Okay. Do you know someone named Jennifer Crumbly? I do. Do you see her in the courtroom today? I do. Can you um, describe something she's wearing to the court? Uh, she has glasses on. Okay. And she's seated over at, at that table. Correct? Yes. All right. May the record reflect she's properly identified Jennifer Crumbly. We want to reflect in court identification of the defendant, Jennifer Crumbly. Thank you. Uh, do you also know James Crumbly? I do. Okay. When did you meet the two of them? At the same time or separate times? Um, I believe that I had met Jennifer first. Um, and it was uh, probably between three and five years ago that I had actually like met them for the first time, but not actually gotten to know them. Okay. When you met the two of them, how many horses did they own? One. And did you meet them because they wanted to board at your farm? No. Um, they were boarding their horse at um, a barn that one of my friends had worked at. And then at some point, did they change their barn? Yes. When was that, if you know? I do not remember the exact day or year, um, but they ended up moving to the barn that I had priorly boarded at before I bought my farm. Okay, when, they did board their horses at your farm, though, correct? Yes. All right, when, 